went to a Little League game or a Pee Wee football event and heard some crazy parent yelling at the top of their lungs at the refs, coaches, or players. Of course I'm talking about the crazy sports parents. What are these parents actually teaching their children? They may think that they just need to get their point across, but overall their behavior is ridiculous. Today I'll talk about the characteristics of a crazy sports parent, how they affect the people around them, and how parents should be taught to teach their children about sports in order to create a new policy where parents meet with the coaches to discuss how their behavior affects their child's sporting experience. Before I explain how these parents affect people, I will define the characteristics of a crazy sports parent. The first characteristic is excessive yelling. According to the Chicago Tribune article titled, Crazy Sports Dad Strikes Out as Coach, to them, every scrimmage is the Super Bowl and every 25-yard backstroke is the Olympic Finals. Some parents get way too into their small child's athletic event, and it gets a little excessive when they take it too far. I don't oppose loud cheering, but it's the negative things that are being yelled that don't belong in an amateur sporting event. Um, the yelling consists of uh, bad-mouthing the coaches. They, talk about, they yell about the skills of the children playing in these amateur sports. Or they yell at the refs for making bad calls. Or all three at the same time. These parents also use swear words in an amateur sporting event, which is completely excessive and just out of place. They also tend to coach from the sidelines and try to tell their child what to do from the stands when they should be listening to their coach. All of these things do not belong in an amateur sporting event, regardless of what happens. Now that we've defined crazy sports parents, we will now analyze the effects that these parents have on their coaches and players. These negative characteristics have a large effect on the coaches and the children playing. According to the online article from the Livestrong.com article titled, Emotional Effect of Sporting Sports on Children, negative comments from parents can make children feel stressed, anxious, and frustrated about their performance leading to an unwillingness to participate. These children are embarrassed when their parents are screaming at their coaches and they get teased by their friends about how ridiculous their parents are acting and they can't help it. It also makes these amateur sports less fun for the children when their parents are being so excessive and ridiculous. These parents are insulting the, the coaches for taking their children out of the game to put in another player that may be less talented, or if they have a bad play call, or for just losing, which insults the title and values of the coach. Number one, what it does to coaches is it distracts the coaches from doing their job when they have to listen to a parent criticizing their calls. Number two, Usually when the parents are trying to coach from the sidelines, they have no clue what they're talking about. And lastly, it puts the child in an awkward situation because they have to decide whether to listen to their coach or their parent. The success of yelling also lowers the self-esteem of the child because when the parent is yelling about the child's performance to try to motivate them, it actually does the opposite. Lastly, it is incredibly annoying to the fans around them. Now that you know the problem, a plan to curtail this issue, I'm going to propose a plan to curtail this issue. If parents understand what their behavior does to their children and the people around them, then they won't do it, but most of them don't understand. This policy or plan proposes that the coaches meet with the parents and hold a presentation on how their behavior can affect their children and how to 
better encourage sporting events. Because not every parent learns how to positively encourage their players. According to the online article titled Parental Influences on Children and Sports from Livestrong.com, positive things parents do to facilitate their children's involvement including, include taking them to practice, paying for the activities, and providing unconditional acceptance and support for their performance. In this, in this policy, parents should sign a contract before the season that states that they will not use excessive yelling, bad mouth comments, swearing, and if they disobey this, then they will have to pay fines to the coach, refs, or organization that their child participates in. And, it, and realistically, if the parent has a problem, they should take the coach aside after the game and discuss in private what they should do for their problem. In conclusion, obnoxious parents are a problem, and this, be, this ridiculous behavior must stop. I have told you today the characteristics of a crazy sports parent, what effect they have on their children and the people around them. And I have also proposed a plan for the parents to sign contracts to limit their behavior. Do not become one of these parents. Let your kid enjoy the sport that they are in. These parents do not realize what effect they have on their children. And this must stop. Thank you.